So y'all can try, but God been well, knocking it all down for me, and I appreciate that. Oh, did he? Is that what he been doing? Has the Lord been knocking it all down? Because I feel like the Lord went and knocked on the FBI's door. If you ask me, it seemed more like he's over there ratting you out to, to the FBI. That's what it looked like. Of course, we don't have a Dairy Queen. When I lived in town, we had a Dairy Queen. So you don't live in town? She don't even live in the town that she run. Hannibal, if you see this, is that legal? <laughs> it's your girl j9 eve make sure you hit the like button subscribe share the video and get into the comments and let me know what you think about this tiff tiff okay tiff tiff the super mayor she has some advice okay you know what i'm saying she's not just a super mayor apparently she's like an advisor of some sort okay <laughs> she's gonna tell the youth okay you heard me say it, the youth because that's how she's saying okay the youth not the youth not she ain't talking to you youth she's talking to the youths okay <laughs> She got some advice for the youths, okay? So y'all need to listen up, all right? If you want to get this good word from Tip Tip, all right? We're going to listen intently and we're going to learn, Tiffany, I promise. I ain't going to make fun of you, I promise, okay? <laughs> Let's see what's going on. What, what what kind of advice do the Tip Tip got for us? We need some we need some assistance with our lives, you know? Um, This is my word for the day. I don't mm. know what to call it. Yes. But to the youth, to the young girls and boys. Mm. That's out yes, the youth. Yes, youths, are you listening? <laughs> if you're watching me as a young mayor, up and coming, um, uh -huh. I want to say politician because I ain't no politician, up and coming tip from the block type of person. Mm, interesting. <laughs> okay, so Tiff Tiff got a new nickname. She got a lot of names. She got a lot of names. Apparently now she is just Tiff from the block. She just Tiffany from the block. She just Tilo. You know what I'm saying? All right, Tilo, Tiffany from the block. <laughs> uh, do it your way. That's all I can tell you. Do it your yeah, way. Do it Burger People King. always have something to say. Burger King. It's not going to be perfect for anyone or any person. Yeah. But just. Especially not you or her or anyone else. Do it your way. Because uh -huh. what beats a failure is a try. You have to try. People that's always got something to say never try what you have accomplished, never did what you have accomplished. Yeah. I ain't never ran to be a mayor after being a trustee who gave the mayor the business and then became the mayor and then got mad at the trustees for doing exactly what i did as a trustee i ain't never did that before that must be why i'm so judgmental about it because i've never done that yeah you know what you're right tiff you're right so my word of advice to you mm -hmm. to all the youth out there is mm -hmm. just keep going have tunnel vision to the max because at the end of the day they're going to talk about you that means you're doing something right just remember that if they got something to say. Oh my God, that's the problem, Tiffany. So okay, so 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 maybe maybe we're doing this wrong. Maybe us criticizing Tiffany is the wrong way to go about this. Like maybe we should say she's doing a good job. Maybe if we tell Tiffany she's doing a good job, maybe then she'll do better. I mean, because she because apparently, according to her, according to Tiff logic, if we're saying bad things about her, it means she's doing a good job. So if we were to say she's bad good things about her that would mean she's doing a bad job right otherwise it basically means no matter what people say about you you're doing a good job so you're doing a good job period no matter if you're a serial killer still good job <laughs> just make it make sense tiffany just tell us what to do to get you to stop that means you're doing something right because oh when God. people ain't got nothing to say they got nothing to say just no that's it that's it. <laughs> that you're the talk of the town you the talk of everybody's table and uh I wouldn't date you because you can't talk about nobody else sitting across from me. I'm trying to talk about us. Like you talking about other people, I'm talking about us. Why is she talking about dating somebody? Was, she, was that not her boyfriend when she? No, yeah, that was so. That was her boyfriend when she became mayor. She she still talked like she ain't got this boyfriend. Maybe this was back before she was claiming him as her boyfriend because of course he's still married. Maybe that was what it was. Like, I, but she keeps making these little statements that were probably little slick remarks to him. Like you better claim this. You better claim all this. <laughs> so I just wish people will just love on each other uh -huh. and spread love and not hate. Yeah, That's just all spread the want. love. It's just the love. That's what we need right now. So uh, I just want to say that to anybody that's watching that's thinking about getting their politics because it's real tricky. That's why I call it politics. Oh, is that why you call it politics? Is that why you call it politics? I thought you was just trying to be sassafras. But it's because politics are tricky. How do you know? You said you're not a politician. <laughs> Politics are tricky. You know what I do? It's tricky. You know, 
these politics I'll be doing, they're tricky. You know, but I don't do politics, though. If you're not <laughs> doing certain things for people by bending over and taking it. Oh, not bending over and taking it. What, what is, why is she making this face? If you don't want to bend over and take it, Tiff, just don't. Like, you, you can't nobody make you do nothing that you don't want to do, honey. Okay? Oh, I felt this first time I ever felt bad for Tiffany. She said, said bend over and take it. And she's making this face like, uh, I don't want to do this anymore. <laughs> um, that's the hardest thing I can say mm. as being a young female, African-American um, mm. politician. Even I hate saying that word, Tiff from the block. Um, Look at that. Yeah, she wants to trademark that. That that She's the second time she said it. She's hoping it'll catch on. <laughs> I'm going to help you, girl. I got you, Tilo. I got you, okay? Tiff, I don't be fooled by the, by the jobs that I got. I'm still, I'm still Tiffany from the block. <laughs> Used to have a little, now I got all yours. And I'm going to spend it all I want. Uh, did I nail it? I feel like I nailed that one, Tiffany. Did I? You like, you like my singing? Oh, great. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's the hardest thing because everybody <laughs> criticizes you. And it's hard when you're a woman. I will say that it is. You think it's just hard because you're a woman? The people criticize you. Okay. Boys club. I have learned that. I have saw that. And um, I will not be bullied. That is not me. That's funny because all her minions are, are male. Well, except for, no, no, there's a couple of ones, but you know, it's it's just money. <laughs> Please understand they're all going to turn on you, Tiffany. They're going to turn on every single one of them. Not, they ain't going to be one left. Okay. They're going to all turn. Every single one of them is going to rat you out. They're going to point out, they're going to pull out papers, and they're going to verify with receipts. And they're going to shovel you up underneath of this here bus. Y'all know I'm a fighter, and y'all will continue to see me fight, but you will continue to see me prosper and grow. Because as he always say, no weapon, boom, she'll prosper. Oh, my God, Lord Jesus. If you're going to use a quote, at least use it properly. No, no weapon formed against me shall prosper. Weapons that are formed definitely have prospered. <laughs> <laughs> You know, no weapon formed against me shall prosper, is what you're supposed to say. Why'd you pick that quote if you didn't even know the quote? Who picks a quote to say and then don't say the quote correctly? And that's such a basic one. Say that. You know it. So y'all can try, but God been well, knocking it all down for me, and I appreciate that. But oh, did he? Is that what he been doing? Has the Lord been knocking it all down? Because I feel like the Lord, the, the Lord went and knocked on the FBI's door. If you ask me, it seemed more like the Lord... He's over there talking. He's over there ratting you out to, to the FBI. That's what it looked like. I'm just saying that's what it looked like to me. Like, you think he's doing one thing, but I'm watching him do something else. That's all I'm saying. Y'all see my work. I'm going to keep loving on y'all. and I'm going to keep giving y'all y'all flowers while we're here. And I, I hope you do the same for me. Love on me while I'm here too. Uh, Yeah, that's a negative. <laughs> that's going to be a negative tip tip. Uh, yeah, well, maybe, maybe, you know what? I might, I might send a little love your way once you get into the penitentiary like once you get in there i might you know i might let down my guard a little bit and be like you know what that tiff she sure did like that hair you know one thing about tiff you know she was consistent well at least her hairdo was it definitely was that 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 was that was definitely her favite piece for sure okay just i'm just saying change it up every once in a while nobody believes it's real so you're not fooling anybody so just you know just change it up a little bit um, but thank y'all so much for listening. Thank you for coming to the meeting just to find out what's going on in the community. Um, and if it's something that you're interested in, uh, please reach out. And on another note for we Yeah, reach out. Just call me. You know, like that, like I be telling the trustees to do. Just call me. And I'm just going to answer my phone for them, for y'all, for whoever's. Not for the FBI. I ain't answering them calls. <laughs> but sure, just call me. You know, I ain't going to tell you what my phone number is or nothing. But just call me. <laughs> Look at these gold nails, y'all. <laughs> Oh my God, girl. They better be clip on. They better be I keep forgetting uh, Greenwood Falls. I built two restaurants, two sit down restaurants. If anyone's looking. Now, check this out. This is the moment where Tiffany decides to advertise for her own business. She's going to advertise for her own business. She bought some properties and she's trying to rent out some space. She's trying to find somebody to rent out this, these properties that she's done purchased. And Tiffany. This is the wrong place for that, okay? <laughs> this is a different job. You see? Okay, so she went she went to go to the White House for the mayor conference. And then she built the Thornton Township job. So she built the wrong job for the wrong trip. Like she she built this she built it to this job, what she did at this job. 
So she got this job paying for what she want to do for this job. And now she's at the, her mayor job, you know, just marrying it up, you know, finishing up a conference. And she's like, you know what, y'all? Oh, why are we in here? I bought some property, <laughs> you know, that I'm sure I obtained under some, you know, you know, sketchy circumstances, if I had to guess. <laughs> But I'm looking for some people to come if you want, if you think you might be interested in, you know, renting out some space or something. I got that for you. You know, hit me up. Th this, I'm pretty, is this a crime? This feels like a crime. Looking to rent out the space because people have been calling me about it. Uh, please reach out. Uh, one side is a full service restaurant. That means they have the ovens, the, the stove, the fryers, everything. Three compartment sink, the grills, everything in it to do a soul food restaurant, uh, sit down restaurant. Oh my God, this is you for your own personal financial gain and you're approaching it at, you're using this as an advertisement for it. This is kind of like what you did with those billboards all over town. <laughs> I can't believe nobody's interrupting her while she's doing this. You can rent it out currently. Uh, right now we're still putting the ventilation in it, the hood system in it, the ansel system. Uh, once we get that up and running, we have to buy equipment in it. Um, right now my goal, my plan for that location was to rent it to inspiring um, chefs, to you, just to get an opportunity to see what it feels like to run and operate a kitchen, to see if that's something they want to waste their money on. And why call it a waste of money? You want some youths, okay? Because that's how she say youths. She said youths. She want the youths to waste their money. She just called it a waste of money. To waste their money renting her property so that they can decide not to. Because if, if you say it's a waste of money, then clearly you don't think it's going to work out. And I mean, I, to, let's just be super honest here. Anybody who rents a space from Tiffany please expect for her to just suddenly right after you sign said contract or whatever for her to come back and say she need more money or she gonna put you out and then expect for her police cronies to come and force you out intimidate you out terrorize you out please expect that please don't ever in the history of ever rent something from a tiff tiff in fact buy it either because the contracts will probably be shysty <laughs> just my theory okay and i can have that it's my theory. I done said it. It's my theory. Just some advice from me. She got or advice on why. School. Or they say, nah, 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 that ain't fun. Or it will help somebody grow into what they should be, which is a chef. The other side, uh, my goal is to uh, make it into a ice cream parlor for the village. And that's soft serve because, of course, we don't have a Dairy Queen. When I lived in town, we had a Dairy Queen. So you don't live in town? She don't even live in the town that she run. Now, money, she don't care. She don't even live. She don't even live in town. She don't even live in town. She don't even live there, y'all. <laughs> How is you the mayor of this town and you don't even fucking live there? It, it, that should be on the list of, of, of like requirements that you live in the town. It, is that in there? Somebody somebody, let me know, okay? Hannibal, 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 if you see this, is that legal? <laughs> can she can she do this? Can she run, can she be the mayor and she don't even live there? I, it feels like that's wrong. That feels illegal to me. Right on 154. Right there, and uh, it's called MLK now, which was Chicago Road in the past. Uh, I want to bring those things back. So that is my goal, and I want the youth to operate it. Um, we are also... Yeah, because it'll be easier to intimidate the shit out of the youths. <laughs> Them youths, you know what I'm saying? It's the youths for me. You know, I could threat, we could threaten them with felony charges or something, ruin their record forever, you know, with my police buddy. Will help me with that, you know what I'm saying? Speaking out, um, talking, well, Keith is, he's talking to Starbucks currently now. They're interested in the space. So that's why I tell you something. I'm going to tell you what ain't going to happen. Starbucks. <laughs> if a Starbucks ends up in fucking dope, I'm about to look that up, see if that ever happened. Ain't no way in the fucking world. No Starbucks coming to dope. The people don't have money. Tiffany stole all of it, allegedly. <laughs> Sometimes it just takes vision. You know, all you have to do is yeah, build it and then you'll come. Vision. A lot of people have been reaching out to rent that location. Why you been visualizing prison? I mean, I assume you did because that's clearly what's coming. You know, that must be what you was visualizing because, like I said, it's coming. <laughs> um, so it's on the table. I want to put that out there to the public. So uh -huh. if you have a business or you're trying to get your business off the mm -hmm. ground, please go check out Greenwood Falls yeah, come and consider on. that the option. Check, um, that check, is check. revenue for the village because that was built with grant money. Um, mm -hmm. It was not built out of your general fund, uh, your property taxes, your water fund, nothing. It was free money, so that means that will be a revenue stream that we will put. Um, I will be uh, opening up the pool. We will 
work on that tomorrow on getting it fixed. So now that the seniors and um, all the residents, especially you, can learn how to swim. I want you to utilize that pool. I want you to use it for aerobics. And also uh, Chief McCain said that they're going to do some dive training in it as well. So I want us to all utilize the community. That's funny. They're going to have this one pool. You know, this got to be a little place. It's, it's, the, they're going to have this one pool. <laughs> it's going to be like the, the pool of Dalton. You know, <laughs> it's going to be the pool of Dalton. And the police are going to do diving training there. Because, of course, Navy SEALs. Why would the police be doing diving training? I'm just asking. I'm just curious. Like, what, why would the police be doing diving training? They're not Navy SEALs. What What are they doing? Like, what, what's... And then it's going to be, you know, for the to teach all the kids. Oh, I'm sorry. Let me correct myself. The youths. Okay. <laughs> teach all the youths how to swim. Okay. And then, of course, there's going to be aerobics. Water. How big is this pool? Like, <laughs> how big of a pool are we talking here? Because clearly all these things can't happen on the same day. So, so I guess it's going to be certain days that certain people can come for certain things. I'm just asking. It seems like you got a lot planned for this one pool. It's probably like one of them little plastic pools that, you know, like, like animals like to play around in. Community uh, businesses that we have, our buildings. So mm -hmm. please let that be known. Last, mental health. Mental health is real. Please mm -hmm. be kind to your mind if you need the help. We have it here in our village. Oh, it yeah. is free to the residents of Dalton. Yeah. So if you need the help, please go see Leah or Sam over here in our old uh, village hall, which is located on 140th and Park. Um, it is open. They have a 24-hour number. So if you're going through something, you can't talk to anyone and you just want to reach out, please let that be your last resort um, because you're not alone. But at least they will pick up their 24-hour line. Again, thank you all so much for listening. I love you all. And now you can do about it. Oh, look at that. Look at those talents. <laughs> I love you. And ain't nothing you can do about it. Rare. <laughs> yes, I can. Tiffany, yes, I can. Okay. If I was there, I could relocate. And I could do that about it. Because don't nobody want a Tiffany loving on them. I'm sorry. Tilo. You know, Tiffany from the block. Tiffany from the block is out here advertising for her own personal property at the board meeting for the village of Dalton as the mayor. This is what she doing. This is what she doing. I hope that this is in the list of things that the feds is checking into because that definitely feels not legal. I don't know if it is legal or not, but if it ain't, if it is legal, it need to not be legal, okay? <laughs> they need to go ahead and put that in there, okay? They need to put that in there because that definitely should not be a thing. It's just, I mean, if nothing else, it's just fucking tacky. You over here advertising your own personal business, some properties you done bought, and then they supposed to trust you trying to do anything with real estate. That's what they're supposed to trust. That's what the trustees are supposed to trust. You were dealing with anything about real estate over there. Yeah, nah, bro, nah. Like I said, my theory is, I have to say my theory, my theory is, she wants that, that you, she always talking about these abandoned, vacant properties, okay? She wants to do all of this stuff and find all these things so these people lose these properties so they have to foreclose or something or whatever they think the process is so that she can then buy that motherfucker for cheap, okay? And she gonna own all this stuff, tear it down, sell the land to somebody trying to build something. This is what she did, like, like, it don't take rocket, it's not a rocket science type of thing. It, it, it's clearly, this is like, it's all just property to her. She's just trying to buy up these things. It ain't because she wants to buy them and make them nice so that Dalton looks nice. She she don't even fucking live. She used to live in Dalton. And now she don't no more. She just said it herself when I used to live in town. She don't even live there no more. I can't with you, Tiff. I can't with you, Tiff Tiff. Okay? I haven't really truly tried, but I just accept the fact that I just fucking can't. Okay? <laughs> Y'all behave. So I'm not going to do it. Absolutely not. Not as long as there's a Tiffany afoot, okay? But mama love you. Yes, she do. Ooh, ain't nothing you can do about it. <laughs> Peace. <laughs>